officer involved shooting in Rantoul. Champaign County State's Attorney Julia Reitz has released a preliminary opinion on the investigation after reviewing evidence. She says the suspect died after a gun went off during a struggle with Rantoul police. And of course, this all happened the night of February 6th over the course of an hour in the area of Bell and Ohio Avenues. Rantoul officers Haley Manega and Ricky McComas responded to a report of a stolen car. The person left it running in the driveway as they went inside a home, and then someone was driving off when they came back out. The officers were speaking with the person when Azan Lee approached them. Reed says it was unclear at the time if he was involved in the theft, but Lee told them he was there to see a friend and left. Officers took the owner to the car after it was found nearby. During that time, Officer Jose said saw Lee walking in the area. Reed says he was aware of the stolen vehicle report and approached Lee. Reed says Aceves could see an object weighing down the pocket of Lee's sweatshirt. Officer McComas got there and asked Lee what was in his front pocket of the hoodie and if he had any keys on him. Reed says Lee reached into his hand into the pocket. Aceves grabbed his wrist and patted down the pocket as he suspected it was a gun. Lee pulled away from the officer with his hand Still in the pocket, and officers and Lee fell to the ground as they tried to get a hold of it. Reed says the gun went off during the struggle. Well, then Lee ran from the scene, dropping that gun, and that's when Officer Aceves shot his gun at Lee three times. But Reed says none of Aceves' bullets hit Lee. Aceves said he fired his gun because he was concerned Lee could still be armed and dangerous with another weapon. Reitz also says Rantoul officers and sheriff's deputies later found Lee in a backyard. He was unresponsive with one gunshot wound to the leg. Officers applied a tourniquet. EMTs took Lee to the hospital where he later was pronounced dead. Reitz also says Lee was a convicted felon for domestic battery in Champaign County. He could not legally have a gun on him. Reitz says authorities are still investigating. Stay with WCIA on air and online as we continue to follow this story today.